How are you doing team? Nokia Power is here and welcome you all to a very interesting video. In this video, we will test and evaluate the performance of Nokia One, the first Nokia smartphone that runs Android Go Edition of OS. So what is Android Go? Android uh, Go Edition is the lightweight OS uh, that is like based on this Android 8.1.0. Android 8.1 uh, brings uh, support for low RAM devices. So this is uh, this was like one of the major under the hood feature uh, for Android 8.1. So uh, not only uh, this Android Oreo 8.1 Go Edition brings uh, lightweight OS, uh, Google has also supported this uh, Android Go Edition of OS with tailored apps. So you can quickly see here that these featured apps are tailored for the Android Go Edition. So uh, these are the third party apps but if you go and check you will see that files go then uh, all other apps maps go etc these have their go versions like which is lightweight google go maps go files go so these are all light versions of there so even youtube go is there so the lightweight os plus tailored lightweight apps so that's what makes the whole experience of nokia one so it, it comes with 1GB RAM so obviously we need to see and obviously we also need to keep it in mind that this is the lowest end uh, device in entire Nokia smartphone range. So being the lowest end device it's like the budget end or entry level device so obviously one does not expect it to be you know blazing fast or like even um, much able to or much capable to handle advanced tasks at least what is expected is that this can handle daily tasks easily and does not disappoint in uh, you know just running as a smartphone so we will first or like primarily focus on testing how it uh, deals with the daily tasks so we'll first talk about the navigation part so app list opening app list closing then uh, scrolling across the home screen bringing down the action center going to settings these all look smooth to me so what you will also notice is that it is uniform actually so the OS uh, seems to be you know kind of like polished and uh, there is uniform response or homogeneity of response across the UI navigation which is a good thing. I mean it tells you that there has been uh, some kind of work in polishing the OS and making it you know the response is uh, uniform and you know responsive overall. So the basically homogeneity of response, uniformity of response and responsiveness overall is the key and in that it works fine. So we can open apps as we had just opened this, uh, you know, Google Play Store and you can notice that things work fast. So you would not be disappointed with the way it, it uh, actually responds. Uh, if you open particular apps, etc. We can use the browser and there are two tabs open. And you can notice that uh, it was like able to load the page quickly. Now if I go to the browser and this page and if I try to do the basic zooming in, zooming out, I don't think there are like any, you know, any, any things to complain because zoom in and zoom out works fast, good, the scrolling is good, okay, and I, I, I think reloaded or like loaded a new page but anyways, still it has done it uh, quickly. If I go to the other page, which is I think home page, you can notice that even the home page load is fast. So it is good. So as you could notice the like opening of the Play Store and the basic browsing looks good. So even when it is like having only one GB RAM, you can notice that at least I mean the basic, as I said, the basics should be right. So navigation, UI navigation, daily you know daily uh, tasks, etc. It seems to be working so far so good. Let me open the camera, and the camera has opened fine, I think. Maybe uh, like the first uh, launch could have been faster. But it's okay.
if I go to the uh, multitasking UI, okay, it seems that it, it is loading it relatively well. So these are the things obviously one wants to see in the you know any any smartphone even if it's a low-end smartphone or the budget and the smartphone entry low smartphone but you still uh, kind of expect uh, you know respectable kind of performance so perhaps in that uh, it, it is not uh, disappointing it's not making you say that it's bad i mean it's good so far the browsing etc even the multitasking with these apps open is not bad But then there is a limit because you can obviously notice that though uh, so far it has been fine, it is uh, working fine. But I know or like Ubit also understand that if we try to push it hard, like we try to push hard on like Nokia 6, Nokia 5, even Nokia 3, they, they kind of try to cope up with, you know, much uh, more load. But I am not uh, very convinced if you ask me that with 1GB RAM it would be able to handle everything. But yes, uh, we will try. We can uh, try with one game. So let's uh, open this subway surfer because I think even with on a low-end device you would like to you know uh, kind of uh, play games so this is one of a uh, very very important part of uh, smartphone uses nowadays and and obviously there are some uh, recommended uh, you know games there which are like more compatible with Nokia One or like Android Go edition of uh, OS. So I, I we will go to that and see what what apps uh, games are being like recommended by Google. But let us first load it. The so service server gets loaded here, and you are on. So just wanted to mention that we were able to play this game even when we have like uh, five uh, kind of apps and games open and that when we have this browser open also with two tabs. So it, it cannot be said to be too bad actually it's fine I mean uh, you know and what I just wanted to show it that the browser here it did not reload it resumed which is a relief. So now if I go back to the game to see how it copes up. Okay, so again, I mean, with one game open, browser, another game, so it, it, it just resumed. So this is good, according to me, if you ask me. Okay, anyways, now I just missed. So that's what I wanted to show it to you, that uh, uh, like, uh, if you if we subject it to uh, even like a slightly higher load, it still copes it, copes well with it and uh, maybe like that is all thanks to uh, the kind of lightweight apps that have been like created by google for them for it mm, so i was just trying to show it to you that are there games which are like recommended for this okay um, so these are featured apps so i think these games are always which are like recommended for this games will go okay so these are like recommended for you which are the games you can actually try i think these are like a lightweight version of those games maybe which you can actually load and play on it and we just showed you how uh subway surfer works on it so uh if you ask me i can try you know going with more i can load transformer game as well but you will have to keep in mind how much load it can take with 1gb ram so till now it has worked fine but i i doubt that if we you know subject to, to higher load it may start uh, you know giving some headache issues to you so if you really want uh, to do more much more like play two three games in one go i mean multitasking heavy things etc then you should uh, try thinking for Nokia you know, 3, Nokia 5, etc., which comes with higher uh, amount of RAM.
but if you talk about the daily tasks daily tasks and daily gaming daily browsing needs uh, for an entry level device nokia one has so far done really well you could have already seen the browsing that, that was smooth the gaming was also fine and uh, multitasking <laughs> surprisingly was good because we saw that uh, the apps and games they reload i mean resumed not reloaded so that is one test which it passed uh, comfortably so now let's we are trying to uh, you know load one more game here and we will just do a bit of multitasking with it and then we can make up our minds about it and then we'll come to that end of that video so that's what we are trying to do now so this game i think transformers this is also kind of uh, tailor made for uh, Nokia one, the light version. Okay, so it's loading. And we are here. So uh, this game has loaded, let's send it to the background. Okay. So we had uh, sent that game to the background and as I said, uh, this is kind of uh, pushing it to a bit higher load because one game was already open and then there were like browser and other apps open. Now we have opened this game too. Let's see how the multitasking works. So no game or app has crashed. So that is a relief, I would say. Because I expected <laughs> that something may like like a crash because uh, you have only one GB RAM to cope up with everything. But here, at least, uh, no, nothing has crashed so far. And I think that we saw that um, you know that browser tabs they just reloaded, but yeah, still it is doing it fine quickly. Okay. Now if we go back to the multitasking and try to resume the game that we had earlier, Subway Surfer, how, let's see how it done, it, it actually copes with it. So it, it I think got uh, reloaded, so that's what happens, I mean if you like push it to a bit like higher load then uh, it does not resume tabs now start reloading so obviously that is that was what i was expecting it so uh, pushing it to higher load will obviously give you not those desired results but if you for uh, your daily purpose daily need of gaming etc multitasking etc it is just sufficient it works fine so they but you can notice that this play store still resumed it did not reload so that is how it works actually i think the apps which are like tailor made they don't resume though they don't don't reload but resume but you know that does not happen with everything but anyways 
even i can say that even with that load in the background at least the basic functions are just fine you know they are just working fine i mean if if the os is not uh, polished this would not happen so that's where i will say that uh, if your uh, requirement is a low end or entry level device you can safely go for nokia one because the basic daily tasks the basic daily navigation and even a slightly bit like gaming browsing simultaneously with more apps open it can handle all well when you try to load it to a level where it cannot like if you try to open two or more games then it will obviously face issues but uh, for a basic smartphone uh, kind of uses it's sufficient and it's really quick really uh, does things fast and surprisingly like it feels like it may be a bit faster than nokia 2 so which which comes with no gut so uh, i'm not sure what will happen if we load nokia 2 uh, with oreo but but slightly i that is my hunch or my feeling so with that we come to end of this video hope you like this video stay tuned for more on nokiapowerizer.com and uh, nokiapowerizer youtube channel thanks for watching